Namaskar friends. Yesterday I have seen uh, the richest uh, 1036 people who are above 1000 crores of uh, assets. And that is actually list of IIFL wealth of, uh, you know, 2022 list. In this I have seen uh, Gautam Adani is having 10,94,400 crores. And the last person is having about 1,036 people. Have Everybody has about 1,000 crores. In that, Rakesh Junjunwala, who had recently expired, has having, is having 37,000 crores. So it's excellent that you know so many people are rich in our country, providing uh, employment and all that. It's great. But I would like to people to focus on their health score. This is how, how is your health? So I have put up uh, 30 health parameters and health score. Let us look at them, friends, and so that we can assess our own health and find out what is our current health and how do we can improve upon it so that we don't uh, suffer. Like, you know, in case of sickness, you have to only suffer. Nobody else is there despite having money. Rakesh Junjunwala in the last uh, period of his life, he was mostly disabled and he suffered a lot. And it's very unfortunate for such a rich person, more focused on uh, health and, you know, I mean, sir, wealth, but not much probably on health. I can't say that, whatever is the reason. Let's take advantage of uh, these 30 parameters and learn. See, friends, there are about five parameters which are physical. What are they? The weight should be as per height. You can check the charts and do that. BMI, there's a calculation you can work out. The BMI should be, see, 18 to 24. Weight should be, uh, you know, as per the height. In my opinion, five feet people, male and ladies, should be around 50 to 55 kg. 5.6 feet, generally the average Indians are 5.6 feet. They're 60 to 65 is good. About six feet, six feet people should be around 70 to 75 kg. If anybody is over above this rate, consider yourself overweight and you are having insulin resistance and you are going towards the health problems. The second is BMI should be between 18 to 24. You should not have any belly fat, abdominal fat and all that. Your waist size should be half of height in inches. I'm 66 inches, so my waist should be 33 inches. Blood pressure should be, friends, below 120 by 80. Actually, it is between 90 by 60 to 120 by 80 is, uh, you know, the ideal blood pressure. Now, there are actually, there are six uh, key health parameters, friends, out of that five blood tests. If anybody does this five blood test, they can be assured of 80% of their health. What are they? Fasting insulin. See, unfortunately, this test is not being recommended by doctors and a lot of, uh, you know, 99% of these uh, health, check, health check packages, though you spend 2,000, 3,000 rupees, this particular parameter is not part of the package, friends. So what is that fasting? Insulin should be three to five. Fasting blood sugar should be below 99. Homa insulin resistance is a calculation of uh, fasting insulin multiplied by fasting uh, sugar divided by 405 is the insulin resistance, friends. It should be below 1.5 is insulin sensitive. Above 1.5, 1.5 to 3 is mild insulin resistant. Moderate is 3 to 5. Above is one uh, five, per 5 is uh, more uh, severe insulin resistance, friends. See, what happens is insulin resistance is the root cause for all the health problems, friends like, you know, obesity, diabetes, blood pressure, PCOS, and all that. And for diabetes, HbA1c is the important test, friends. It should be below 5.6% is non-diabetic. 5.7 to 6.4 is pre-diabetic. Above 6.5 is diabetes. D vitamin levels also should be above 50 nanogram per milliliter. B12 is above 500 PG per milliliter. Friends, out of the six health parameters, my experience is whatever I have highlighted this yellow, one, two, three, four. Out of six, these parameters, four are not generally part of a, most of the uh, you know blood test report. So despite spending so much of money, you are not truly knowing your health score, friends. So please make sure that you get uh, these pa six parameters. I have found a person who is about 120 kg weight. When I ask him, he's about 33 years. He's finding it difficult to walk also. When I check with him, he said, sir, yes, I got all my parameters done. I spent about 3,000 rupees. All parameters are all right. Please, friends, understand if all parameters are all right, why the person is like that? 
it is very clear that these parameters are not measured. On top of it, especially this fasting insulin range in the lab reports is showing three to 25. It's very large range, friend. It should be three to five only. Similarly, D vitamin is showing 30 to 100 is good. So I, ideal would be above 50 nanogram. Similarly, B12, friends. So make sure that these tests are done. And next is, uh, what are the other nine tests? Like, you know, a triglyceride, this lipid profile, friends. Especially VLDL is very important. It should be below 20. Look at the ideal range I have written. Triglyceride should, HDL ratio is very important. It should be one point below 1.5. Triglyceride should be below 100. HDL should be above 60. And VLDL should be below 20, friends. Inflammation marker is a HSCRP. This should be below 1 milligram per liter. Then you have PP sugar, PP insulin. PP insulin is also very important, friend. It should be below 30 after two hours. Thyroid, TSH is 1.8 to 3. Then kidney function, creatine is 0.7 to 1.3. Liver is ALT to SGPT ratio is about 10 to 49. Hemoglobin is 13 to 17 is good. Uric acid should be uh, around between 3 and 7, friends. Number of medications, you should not be taking any medications, friends. If you are taking any medication, that means you are having a health issue. Then comes, look at, friends, out of these parameters, how many you are complying, we are going to check. There are eight uh, you know, healthy habits, friends. If you're able to make sure that these eight healthy habits are incorporated in your day-to-day -day activities and do this fine tuning, what we do now, we'll make sure your health. What is the daily water consumption? It should be minimum four to three to four liters one should consume. Why three to four? Because we lose water through urine, stool, sweat, and breath, almost one and a half to two liters. So we must uh, sub substitute them plus add up the better hydration. Three to four is ideal, friend. Daily bowel movements, two bowel movements will ensure the gut uh, cleanliness, friends. Look at this, friend. This is the gut where you have ascending colon. This is the transfer transverse colon. This is the descending colon. So when you go two times the toilet, preferably in the morning, you are able to keep your health the gut health very healthy, friends. Now, how to do this 45 minutes brisk walk is important. It's a very simple technique, friend. Immediately after waking up in the morning, preferably get up before sunrise, you drink one liter, focus your mind on your stomach, go for first bowel, bowel movement. Only after the first bowel movement, you are licensed to engage in any other activity. Once that bowel movement is over, you go for a 45 minutes or one hour brisk walk, do any game, swimming, anything you can do. Come back home, rest for five, 10 minutes, again, drink one liter water, and you can go for the second bowel movement, friend. If you are able to hydrate very well in the morning itself and do the two bowel movements, you can be ensured of good gut health, friends. Then next thing is avoidance of toxic foods, but refined foods, highly refined fruits, sugar, sweets, ice cream, bakery, bakery foods, and all that, and stimulants like coffee, tea, and cool drinks. So this is an essential thing. If you can stop that, that itself will enhance your health, friend. Then number of eating episodes. Why? What is happening, friends? Now, currently, everybody who eats uh, breakfast, lunch, dinner is very common, and then one or two times snacks they will take, and at least one or two times coffee tea they take. That means from morning 6 o'clock to evening night 10 o'clock, people are eating at least 6 to 7 times in a day. Eating 6 to 7 times, and that to high carb fruits, foods over a period of 5 to 15 years, people will develop insulin resistance. And unfortunately, these blood tests also, these six set tests, we, five, five blood tests we talk, they are not uh, tracked about insulin resistance. That's why most of the people either uh, are having large, uh, you know, insulin resistance and all that, friend. See, friends, uh, the data is every, uh, out of three persons, one person is pre-diabetic. And out of 10 pre-diabetic patients, nine of them are not aware. It's only because those critical tests are not done. And that's why we are not aware of the, our health, current health problems, friends. Number of eating episodes, what we should do, we should eat only twice in a day when hungry and maintain the same timings. In between two meals, you should drink only water, except water, nothing else, friend. Anything else you take in your mouth, which requires digestion, it amounts to third eating, fourth eating and all. So please be aware that eat only twice in a day. I always tell people, even if a favorite God appears to you and offers you his prasadam, if he's come before uh, first meal, keep it along with you, eat along with your first meal. If he happens to come after first meal, keep it with you, thank him and eat along with your second meal. If you can make this discipline alone, I can assure you that you can improve your insulin sensitivity. Improving insulin sensitivity is health, friends. 
daily 16 hours fasting if you can maintain how this can be done 14 to 16 hours previous day meal if you are taking at 7 o'clock 7 p.m the next day meal try and take around 11 o'clock or after 11 o'clock friends so that's where you are able to keep 14 to 16 hours uh, fasting overnight during this period except water nothing else to be taken People who are habituated of eating many times, it is a bit difficult initially to uh, switch to two times eating. So start with three times eating, nothing in between three times, then slowly over a period of time, increase your fasting period and come to two, two, two times eating friends. Then comes uh, managing of stress is uh, very essential. If you don't know how to handle the world, how to handle your relationship, that will lead to stress. Chronic stress impairs your night sleep. If you are not able to sleep seven hours night between 10 p.m. to 5 a.m., you will not be able to re rejuvenate in the morning. And then fasting once in 15 days. So friends, this is, these are eight habits, daily habits. This is the ninth habit is fasting once in 15 days by way of you can have honey and lemon water three, four times in a day, or you can have coconut water, or you can stay only on water also, or take and fruit juice. So that way, 15 days once fasting is very essential, friends. In, up, in 2014, in uh, up to 2014, I used to be behaving like this in the end, I, out of 18 parameters. That time, I did not know these 30 parameters. In the last eight years, during my research, I have added up all these points, and out of 18 points, I was complying only three that means my health score was only 22 percent friends but in four months by following dr manchana raju's approach i've improved my health 89 percent and i got rid of all my medication this is how i used to be friend with overweight obesity belly fat and taking 11 medicines and having diabetes blood pressure kidney stones and taking 11 medicines is a miserable friends in four months i have transferred my health now, friends, uh, see, now I, I have tracked my performance uh, year on year. In 2000, uh, June 22, my health score is 83%. Still, I am diabetic, but my HbA1c is not, uh, HbA1c is around 6.4, 7, 7.5. Without medication, I am making attempt to bring it down below, below 6.4. I'm sure I will be able to do that, friend. What is health and immunity? See, friends, health and immunity means you should not be taking any medications daily. You should have a good appetite. You should be uh, you should be able to go two times bowel movement, good the seven hours deep sleep at night, no pains in the body, no discomfort, no lethargy in the body, feeling enthusiastic and energetic in the morning to do your job, clear healthy skin. These are a few indicators of health and immunity. Now let's look at how do we check our uh, uh, immunity frame. Suppose if there is a raining, you get drenched in the rain for 30 minutes or 45 minutes, one hour, and then subsequent to the same evening or next day, if you are not falling sick, not developing running nose, cold, fever, cough, and all that, that itself shows you are health and healthy friend. In case of any sickness, you will have a less suffering and have a quick recovery. Friend, be be before 2014, if I go for swimming for one day, I'll be sneezing for three days and I used to take antibiotics and medicines and all that. Last eight and a half years, I have not fallen sick and I am uh, hale and healthy. So friends, as I, we discussed two times eating, one time if you are able to take uncooked food, uh, in two times only you're eating food, the ideal time is be would be between 11 and uh, one o'clock in the Morning and evening is between 6 and 8 o'clock, second meal. You decide whatever is convenient to you. You can have one time cooked meal, another time uncooked meal. That's a natural meal that is called, uh, you know, sprouts, soaked uh, badam, soaked uh, groundnut, fresh coconut, dates and seasonal fruits, cashews and pista badam and all that you can eat, friends. This way you will be able to improve your health. What are more important, friends? Gut health is very important. Insulin sensitivity is extremely important. Third is that your D vitamin B12 levels are very important. Once you check, they are not in the range. We improve by the way of supplements and uh, standing in the uh, you know sun and all that. This way you can improve, friends. Friends, my name is Gangeshwar Rao. I'm not a doctor. I'm passionate to share my knowledge. I have invested 6,000 hours in the last eight and a half years. And uh, we have a group called Wellness Secrets. There are about four to 500 people. And you can join the group. You can call on my this number, 98. 4085 
and i wish you very good health and if you like this video you please subscribe and make a comment and share to your friends friends and you have i have such another videos which will talk about health you can listen to those videos and enhance your knowledge it is necessary that you have to invest time to improve your knowledge so that you are on the wealth front also you gain your wealth and ensure that your health score you are improving and so that you are having high immunity and not falling sick and if at all fall sick you recover fast thank you very much friends